Before this video starts, I'd like to ask that if you're looking for more content on Cyberpunk 2077, to please subscribe to the channel for daily content. If you enjoy watching, leave a like on this video and comment what you liked. Or just say hi. Now let's run it. Okay. What? I don't understand. Fuck! Yeah, I'm mad. No pay then. Should have thought of that earlier. Why are you so loud? Um... So we've done all the side jobs I wanted to do. Fool on the Hill is, uh, in particular, well, it's finding all the graffiti and I don't really care for that. I mean, we found as many as we did going throughout all that shit. These other side missions, a lot of them are just buying vehicles. The small little gigs don't care much for, I'm not looking to seek anything out. But I got a lot of these off my fucking shit, so I feel pretty good. Uh, the character looks pretty dope. I like all these clothes that we've got. Um, yeah, I, I like this shit. It's fucking dope. I got the drip. And I got some pretty cool weapons. I just feel like... It's a good time to get the ball rolling. Stats are about where I want them to be. I'm going to not take that vehicle because it's about to blow up. We're going to go to the point of no return. All right. Welcome to the beginning of the end of Cyberpunk 2077. It's been a fucking ride. Let's go. Here goes nothing. A relic malfunction. Oh God, shit. I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first yeah. sign of trouble, he dealt her. Uh, sounds fair. Hanako sama ga omatsu A lot of net runners here. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Let's step to it then. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now. I knew. From the start. You knew? What? All the board members knew. What? Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a four needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Huh. Power. Family. Our family. My eyes are rolling. I was to be its heart. To uphold life. Ensure continuity. Stability. Never to oppose it. Huh. Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different. Hmm. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. And I won't. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm-hmm. 
He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout, when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Hmm. Seem on edge. Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now, that AB has flown by. Oh shit. Think someone might have tailed you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that. Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. Then what, your fucking penthouse? We With soundproof glass? I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Shut up. For one goddamn minute, shut up. This is gonna be a disaster. Oh shit. Sit. We have little time. And you'll help me in exchange for... My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Sir. Just say it. Be easier that way. I want him punished. Still vague. You want him dead. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama. Soro-soro go-jitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arasaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamuru said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. No wish to, or no permission, you being a woman. I decide my own fate, as should you. So... Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka Top Brass? <laughs> Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know, and that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? You will see. I'll see, huh? Don't like this at all. Sounds like you want to use me. No. I simply offer you an opportunity. Not the first to try. Fuck. But what if I am the last? You cannot take that chance. Let's fly the fuck out of here. V? Do you feel alright? Huh? You are bleeding. Oh shit. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. 
Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. You could use some air. Right now. You're goddamn right I could. <coughs> On the fucking thing. What? You could be hours from it now, Pete. And you can't stand on your own two feet. Well, I'm good to go. Buddy listens to me. Oh no, Johnny. See what I'm getting at? Yeah, I get it. I don't like it one bit. I'm still going Come on, strong. Face the facts. Pop some pseudo endo Scooch and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Makoshi. Yeah? How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you half a century ago, but now... I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen, I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. You don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. You don't want those people involved, their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Hanako's offer's on the table. I'm sorry. Who's? I'll cut the crap. She actually has power. Could be our ticket. Yeah, one-way ticket to the city morgue. That Sokka cunt scrambled your circuits. Rogue and I will handle this, just like we used to. What about Pan Am? Oh shit, sorry. Skip, 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 skip. Uh... Rogue... I don't know... You honestly think it could work? With her experience, her resources, her connections... Won't find anyone better in NC. Johnny. It's gotta work! We breach the tower, all cracks uh. open the Koshi, then I fuck up that... Great, you checking out again? What the fuck, dude? I didn't cho I didn't choose, right? Am I dead? What? Am I? No, it's not what you think. Not yet, anyway. What? Easy there. Don't move just yet. What? Victor? Vic? You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. Whatever that is. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head. Ah. Almost done stabilizing the biochip. Uh, feels like. Someone's using your head as a knife block? How. How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Dominant was your guardian angel. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. 
That's a bit worrying. Order a weaker poison next time. This ain't no joke, kid. As I see it, there won't be a next time. All right. That should be a little better. Try sitting up carefully. I'll try. I think I'm getting some feeling back. Ah! Sit slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. Hmm. Well, looks like I can sit up all right. But I can tell you don't have good news. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Yeah, I know. Thoughts on where to start? Jesus, again. Do I have to spell it out? It's in your hands, not mine, and not those of that thing in your head. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah, what about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you and you alone. What? You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Give it a fucking rest, Johnny. It's my decision. And I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? noodle? Fine. Just not, it's in, not this in this basement. basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. How loud? What? Just go fix this thing. I uh, think I can do it. <clears throat> Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Hey, V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy. For either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vix had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. Well, that's a good excuse. My aura is sputtering. Mm hmm. Afraid so. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Oh man, I have no fucking idea what to do. Okay, so probably, right, don't want to include Pan Am because she could die. I don't know how fucked up this game's gonna be. Top floor. And then Hanako does seem like the same glum face. she just wants to use me. Ooh, Jack. This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. 
His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumba's on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more hey. like it. Air. See that? Hold on, I'm looking at something. I want to look at this. I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. About to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Some me some time? Oh, some me time. God, I'm a fucking idiot. Be alone with my thoughts. Near on unachievable these days. So what... What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now, you know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Really? Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No, but whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Just want to hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? No. S sorry to wake you this late. Is that why you called? To apologize for interrupting a good night's sleep? To know that we'll see each other again. What? You know. Fine. Fuck no, off. no, not like that. Make up your mind. Something. Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. What? Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Mm -hmm. Then he tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Fuck, okay. Sitting here thinking about it. 
trusting Arasaka is super risky because the whole game has been anti-corporation. That bitch is fucking corporation at its heart. She wants us to get rid of Yorinobo and fucking then she'd be in control and wants to stop her from fucking killing us after she gets control, you know? No loose ends type of thing, right? Fucking corporate type of shit to fucking go. We end up dying anyway, me and Johnny, and she gets what she wants, a fucking bad ending. Could ask Pan Am for help, have her fucking run and gun her way with us, but then she ends up fucking dying. And... And fucking... Uh... Pan Am ends up dying, like, right in front of our eyes, but, you know, she eventually helps us to fucking live. And then there's thinking Rogue and Johnny should go, and... Maybe Johnny's the one that fucking ends up dying. I don't know, but he's already dead. So, I mean, I think that's kind of the way that things should go. We should fight it off as Johnny. He's basically been our in our head this whole fucking time. We got all this other shit going on. V's feeling really fucking weak. Johnny's basically taking over our body as it is. I definitely don't think asking Pan Am is the way because she'll fucking die. Trusting Arasaka could be... Like, we would end up shoving Johnny to the wayside and end up getting fucking double-crossed. So I think Johnny and Rogue is the way to go to get us out of this mess. It was a little forceful when he first brought it up, but I think that's the way to do it. I think you ought to go with Rogue. Two of you together got the best shot. You absolutely sure. No going back on this, you know. Could also just put the, all this to rest. There is another option, you know. What? We put all this. The pills. Everything. The bed. If we don't try something, anything, we're both doomed. Toss the pills? Jesus Christ. Okay, not my best idea ever. Forget I mentioned it. Yeah. I mean, in this situation, if I was for real, I'd want to fight until the very end, you know? Fucking, how old is V, right? Obviously, they've said multiple times dying of old age in Night City isn't really a thing. But, you know, you gotta try to survive. I don't know. Like, that one car was telling us, why do we fight? For survive? Or to survive? I don't, I don't. Okay. I think you ought to go with Rogue. Absolutely sure. Okay. Here goes nothing. You're up, Johnny. I trust you. He gave us the fucking the wheel. Just uh He gave us the dog tags. Yeah. Thanks, B. I'll get us through this. You'll see. Alright, Keanu. See you on the other side. Even if I gotta burn this whole fucking city down. Look who we have here. You know what? I'm just getting started. Oh, too bad. We're closing up. I'm looking for Rogue. Big booth over there, but you probably don't want to disturb me. No, I think I do. Wait, no, I'm serious. Shit, in the can. Is that what you think? Then just watch and learn. How you doing? Hang on. Give me a sec. V. V's taking a break. It's me. 
We'll talk soon, Wakako. What do you want, Johnny? Jesus, who died? Not happy to see me? Frankly, I'm not sure. Why? We had fun at the movies, didn't we? We're not at the movies anymore. Okay. Plus, got a good idea why you're here. You want something. And that's always a bad sign. Pretty tight setup you got, Rogue. Queen of Night City. Couldn't have been easy to achieve all this. So many others failed. The hell's that supposed to mean? Just thinking back. You miss the old times at all, Rogue? Fine with where they are, fine with where I am. I can see that. Shame no one else from the Atlantis had the same luck. We're following her. Hey, everybody! We're closed! Oh, what gives? Now. We ain't finished yet! Oh, yes, you is! Shish, what's the matter? Nothing. Your shift's done. You're heading home to kick your feet up. Okay. Guess I'm gonna go back to work. We'll have the whole place to ourselves? Hmm. VIP treatment. Now talk. My field of view's Just fucked what up. What the hell are you insinuating? That my bottle behind the bar? Yep, been waiting there. Just, I never knew what the fuck for. But I'm starting to get some good ideas about how I might use it. Uh. Listen, Rogue, just show me your hand. I know you sold out. You really think. Fuck. Since when are my professional choices any of your fucking business? Got a name at the tip of your tongue, I know. <clears throat> Adam Smasher. So, yes. But way later. You were gone and I'd stop dressing in mourning. No room for sentimentality in the biz, Johnny. Smasher, me, we work for the same people. Does it stink like fresh shit? Yes. Did I have a choice? I did. Do I regret it? Very much so. That what you wanted to hear? Well, hey. The past is the past. If that's the case, do we talk about the future? I know you. Came here for a reason. This body, I'm trying to... I'm not... Fuck. V's dying and I'm the fucking cancer killing him. But the process can be stopped. I just no, have to... Johnny, don't start. Don't tell yourself you're out to help someone. It's only ever about you, so you can feel better. You sure about that? Yeah. Same as it was with Alt. Wasn't even about guilt, that. Just some fucking sense of personal discomfort. Well, maybe I've changed. I'm running out of time, Rogue. When that fucking clock strikes 12, Johnny will disappear and V will go with him. Need to get myself out of his head before that happens. We managed to contact Alt. She agreed to help. But? Only one place we can do it. A data fort. Makoshi. And the only access point we got a chance of reaching is tucked snugly under Sokka Tower. Arasaka? Again? Should have seen that coming. We're not blowing it up this time. Only an idiot does the same thing over and over while expecting things to work out differently. That's insanity. Are you, you insane? Do you have a plan for this? That's where you come in. You're the best fixer in town. You tell me how we're gonna do this. Did you say we? 
That's right. Can't possibly work without you. So, what? I dust off and load up my tsunami? Rejoin your crusade against Arasaka? Bingo. When? Dunno. Now? Hmm. And what makes you think I'd agree? Cause I think you know you owe me one. Me and everybody else you buried while you climbed to the top. Shit. Knew this would happen one day. That one night, by some fucking miracle, you waltz in here and tear everything down. Some things never change. That was some really good animation. Have we changed? I don't know. Well, what do you say we go find out? Will you lend me a hand? Shut the fuck up, Johnny. Just stop talking. Mm hmm. Uh, those were some really good textures on her eyes, actually. <laughs> uh, hopefully it doesn't just straight cut to a fucking sex scene. Oh, did we fuck? Did we do it? Spared us the rogue sex scene, huh? All right, well, suddenly the game's not worth $60. Why am I closing my eyes and opening them? Whoa. Fucking Christ. <laughs> every time, every time. Never have I seen one not drunk as a pig sleep over 20 hours. 20 hours? Uh, 20 hours later? Jesus. I've slept Something for 20 hours, up. but Need that's not good again? for us. Next time you're losing teeth. Think so? I would like to see you try. But the boss will not be happy when I break your bones. Mean rogue. There's only one boss. Let's go. The boss awaits. Ugh. Who said your hellos? Excellent. Hmm. Rogue, what's this specimen doing here? He's our pilot and our ride to Corpo Plaza today. Oh. All right. So you're in. Don't act all surprised, leadhead. Gears over there. Help yourself. Don't mind if I do. Um. Holy shit, that katana is awesome. Retro thrusters? Hmm. What are these? Retro thrusters. Anti grabs. Strap them to your legs and you can jump from damn near any height. Christ, Johnny, I'm not your fucking babysitter. Never mind. Got it. Okay, now, gonna tell me what the plan is. Yep. Jack in the shard. Uh, hold on. I think we're gonna go ahead and use Johnny's pistol for this. Just for dramatic effect. Can't switch, but we will. And then we're gonna switch our assault rifle with that one, because fuck yeah, that look that's awesome. And then finally, the katana is going to replace that. We don't need a sniper in a tower. Um, anything else? No, I guess not. Uh, 
targets the Makoshi access point in Arasaka Tower. Need to reach the lab floor. Hold it just long enough to do what we need to do, then get out alive. Arasaka Tower's a fortress, the most secure building in Night City. Walking in through the front door just ain't an option. So, we'll get in through a window of our own making. Specifically, we fly in on a Militech Strix tactical bomber. First, we rain fire on the building's air defenses from a high altitude. Then we breach a wall on the 76th floor, jump from the AV, and survive the landing thanks to our anti-grabs. That's right. We'll land smack in the middle of a tropical rainforest. Contrary to popular opinion, Arasaka has panache at times. We cut our way through the jungle to a shaft located on the tower's vertical axis. The shaft runs the height of the building. We use our retro thrusts again. Reach the bottom floor quickly. We'll surprise the socks off security. They'll be in disarray. Resistance should be minimal. We hit the lab floor running, reach the access point. The rest will be in your hands. I'll hold for applause. Damn. As I said, there's only one boss, one queen. Not gonna work. We're gonna get shredded. Sheesh. Didn't say you had a bomber. We all have our secrets. Guess nowadays a slick red Mizutani. Is that her bicep? Holy fuck! Get that? I'm the best fixer in town, idiot. Enough said. Now focus on the plan. Saying we're gonna rain fire on these assholes. Seriously, I've waited too long for this. Don't bust out of your pants just yet. Uh, if we want to survive, we gotta do a lot more. Here comes the tricky bit. We're gonna knock a Jerujan 0401 Comsat off its orbit. Blood cloud satellite. We're gonna make history, friends. That'll freeze comms in NC, NorCal, and SoCal. Should buy us three or four hours. No coordination, no support, complete chaos. You need to tell me that apart from that fucking bomber, you have a weaponized space shuttle. Got a certain acquaintance at orbital air. Jesus. Mystery benefactor. Highly positioned informant. I'll pay him enough to give us access to the Jerujan. Seriously? The will be up to our old Netrunner friend. Who? You mean old. Oh shit. The only one I know who can rip an Arasaka satellite out of the sky. Um... Brew all this up while I was asleep. Actually, I brewed it up while you were dead. A finger in the comms network pie when corp conflicts start to heat up again could be worth gold. Cause nothing stands to make you more at ease than more. Uh, I think that's true. Um... Can try to sway alt, but no promises. Unfettered AI, remember? She can be difficult. Still got the watch on her ass, too. Besides, bringing down a satellite might not make her happy. I could give a shit about her feelings. I'm the one taking most of the risks here. Either you convince Cunningham, or I'm out. Fuck. I said I'd try. Christ. So summing up, we fly to our socket tower unnoticed and say hello with a welcome basket of missiles. Exactly. Then we jump in, find the building's vertical axis, and work our way down. To the Makoshi access point. Yep. What'd you think? Plant's got a lot of holes, I like it. See, just one problem. There's no coming back from this. You'll burn bridges. To ash and dust. Damn. All our sockets gonna be gunning for you. Yeah. Probably orbital air will too. But as I see it, they braided this whip that's gonna sting them. So, what do you think? Plan's got more gaping holes than a kabuki dollhouse. But fuck it, it's gotta work. It won't be the stupidest stunt we've ever pulled. Rogue. What? Just thank you. Thank me later. There's still the matter of alt. 
Do you know how to move around cyberspace? Well, V got some practice under his belt. Sure I'll manage. Head out back. Nix will show you the ropes. Do you have your own fucking cyberspace system out here? Wayland, heat up the strings. We'll be with you soon. Alright, can I... You gonna be? Can I change this shit now? Can I put on a fucking shirt, please? Thank you. Uh... Can't change my gun yet, still. I have time for a nap? <laughs> hey, hey, it's Nyx. So you the one gonna dive, right? That is the plan. Right on. Hop into a suit. Then have a seat over there. I'm finishing up for the day. So you be resurfacing on your own. Oh, and okay. don't fuck with my gear. I see her in front of me. You see Alt because you wish to. It's a defense mechanism. Damn. Your explicit memory is simply creating a replacement image. It's weird. Like Having I'm... a bad dream. <laughs> you read my thoughts? An oversimplification. You still deny what you are. A construct. A set of data. I... know you. You... Know me. Like lines of code. Huh. Well, that's completely fucked. So why even bother talking if you know my thoughts? As action precedes reaction, so Johnny Silverhand speaks before he thinks. <laughs> huh. That's some kind of joke? Only a sliver of memory from Alt's sense of humor. <laughs> Well, this is all completely fucked. Now I feel... Naked. Time is short. Netwatch could detect our local net traffic. I know how we get it's to... It's beneath Arasaka Tower. Predictable. Okay. Holy fuck, you're doing it now. You're reading my... Engine 0401 poses no problem. I can deactivate the satellite. C Holy can shit. You just hold on <laughs> You will breach Arasaka Tower and locate the port into Mikoshi. This is the program that will establish the link. I will send it with you on a splinter. Upon your opening of a back door, I will be able to circumvent the data fort's security protocols. And then? You will be separated from V. And Mikoshi will cease to exist. No fear. I mean, something could go wrong. Fear? No. Perhaps merely... uncertainty. It's okay, Alt. I'm sweating it in shitting glass, too. Serious shop talk now, Alt. This is a jailbreak for the others, right? The little souls will fly free. Yes. Not good enough. I know there's more to it. Just spill it. I intend to take them with me. To integrate them. Holy shit. <laughs> Gonna devour them. Those poor constructs. That's monstrous. You forget. They are data. Data that will not disappear, but become part of something greater. Meaning what exactly? It cannot be described in terms you will understand, but perhaps one day you will see it for yourself. Cyberpunk 2079? 2080? Cyberpunk 2? Well, wait. Just one other thing. We don't have much time. If you wish to say something, say it.
Hulk Cunningham is no more. I'm being told I absolutely suck at these, but maybe it's not too late for me to apologize. So, Alt, I'm sorry for what happened to you, for what happened to us. Well, yes. Yes, what? Yes, apology accepted? Or yes, it's too late. Watch out for yourself, Johnny. Damn. Well, I'm glad I chose that one. Made it, gave it a little emotional twist. Okay, uh, let's put my fucking clothes back on, please. Take off this fucking suit. Come on, load through. Wait a minute. Is it just not gonna load? I guess it's just not yeah, gonna load. Everything's fine. Got no reason to worry. Now, pull over. Kill the engine and have a nice long look at the stars. Simply that. You won't regret it. Who's she talking to? Gotta go. I love you. What? Ready? Rogue. Who was that? My son. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. You telling me you, uh, you got a, uh... Private life. Yeah. And we'll leave it at that. Damn. Asked if everything's ready. Yeah. It's ready. Good. Now come on. Or that lunatic will take off without us. Uh, you turn around I first. I like this joint. Gonna miss it. Yeah, me too. To the very top. So, Wayland, what you tell him about the job exactly? Only what he wanted to know. His cut. He any good? Aiming to be an NC legend before long. Hmm. <laughs> Aren't we all? No. I don't think I didn't see that. That relic is kicking up dust. Holy shit. Wayland, take us up. Copy that. Shouldn't we be wearing earplugs or something? Rogue. Yeah. You're pretty damn quiet. Everything chill? I just can't believe we're actually doing this. Just like old times, yeah? Just like old times. This definitely does have a sense of closure to it. And I like that. Sometimes I feel like some games don't have enough closure. What did that be? Take a look. See that? One day you're in the gutter, the next, you got the whole city at your feet. 
The whole fucking city! Where no one can make you do shit! Not even those motherfuckers. No idea how this is gonna end, but let me tell you, it'll be one loud morning. Time we gave this city another wake-up call. Jesus, it's so beautiful. About to get even prettier, too. The hell you say? You two take a puff at your chair. <laughs> I wish, Squama. Eyes on the sky, everybody. Cutting a mix of entrance. Holy oh, shit. That the Make a wish. Holy fuck. Hey, they got a lock on us. Damn it. What do we do? Stick to the plan. Is this about to get rocky or what? That's a long way down. Oh. Too late. Time to Delta's past. Gotta improvise. Wayland, get us to the top floors. I can't even see out that fucking window. If this is supposed to show something, I don't see it. Holy shit, we're alive. Intruder detected. Initiating Hayabusa protocol. Okay, get up. The facility is in lockdown. Get up. Ugh. Fuck. Hey. Me. You still breathing? Personnel must report to designated zones. Wayla never jumped. Crashed by the waterfall. So are we going to get him or I'll try to reestablish contact with him? Then find someone who's got Wayland, you Damn it. me? How many pieces you in? Still one I own. And I think the local tribes take an interest in me. We'll get you out of there. Don't move. As if I could. We're going after Wayland. Alright. Got it. Oh, that relic is fucking not feeling good, huh? Okay. Guns, now. Johnny's pistol. And then the katana. Guards. Occupied at the turn. Slipping by is an option. Jesus Christ. I'll follow your lead. Gonna investigate. Okay, she got him. Cool. See if we can't use this term somehow. Okay, to the bird. S term? What? Okay, I'm just gonna ignore what she's saying. Finally. Let's get to work. Hey, Wayland, you hear me? Loud and clear. Doors all my Shit. Fuck. Damn! Thanks for the help. You were supposed to jump with us. Don't like all enemies in one big puddle. Decided to ripple them out. Seems you jumped the puddle entirely. Not now. Let's get out of here. Move. All right, let's go. She probably shouldn't waste time picking shit up when it's not going to matter. We're in the end game now.
You know, Johnny was so eager to bring Rogue in on this mission, but, uh... See that one? A high ranker, holding the access we need. All yours, Johnny. Not a peep, okay? See those guys? Where is everybody? Just one other guy. What? Oh my fucking... Thank you, CD Projekt Red Management, not the developers. That was fucking sick, dude. Better check that out. Oh, no, 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 no. Spider Murphy left to say, look like a cat drink in. Let's grab the access token and make for the elevator. You wanna play with me? No, nope. no, nope. nobody wants to play. I just silenced him immediately. It's all good. I also learned that. Got the access token. Now the elevator. Holy shit! Got a little problem over here. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Come on. Oh shit. Fucking shit. Ouch. Oh god. Bonk. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Well, we won. Yeah? No surprise there. All right, let's go. Well, yeah, okay, let's can't push him out, but whatever. To the atrium. Oh. Ugh. The atrium. Jesus. It was just a month ago I met with Michiko Arasaka here. Empty hallways. Offices. Just like back then. Remember? Of course I do. You've changed, you know? Finally grown up. And you're still the best. So, security rooms are on the lower level. You'll need to plow through. Okay. Uh... Security bots. Elevators are still jammed. Gotta jump. That's a long way down. Precisely why I told you to bring the antigraphs. I got them. Are we just gonna jump off this edge here, or what are we doing, Rogue? Oh, we had to jump. We had to fucking... Oh my god. So dumb. Whoa. It's all good. I got it. I got it. Shit.
Oh boy. Where's he looking? He's looking that way. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up. Get up there. Shit. How many how much RAM do I have? Has to reload? Reboot his optics then, I'll take care of him. I'll never get tired of this. Got him. Oh, we gotta go down more? Oh shit. Son of a bitch. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Come on, come on, come on. All right, another one. Down we go. Broke. God damn it. Put a fucking jacket on. That it? Which way now? Security room. Need to find the elevator to the labs. Fastest route to Mikoshi. Shit. Uh, reboot his optics. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. You can't fucking assassinate that guy. Okay, then suicide. I'm gonna watch this happen, what the fuck? Jesus Christ! Oh, shut up. What? Taking me out of it, man. It's all right. I got no. I got you. Cunningham, Port, Jackerin. Can't open it from here. Probably a control term nearby. Hmm. Over here. Local network. Open. Patching in alt. Let your woman out of her box. Let her show us what she's got. Hey, you've oh. always been the one. Know that, right? I do. <laughs> Just a shame you never did. Well, could have been worse. Alt's in. Think she can break through the ice? I would bypass the security. Yep, she did it. Damn. Elevator, now. She just fucking fry that dude. Okay, she took care of that. Whoa. Oh shit. I didn't even mean to do that. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Fuck me. 
They are getting just fucking devoured, dude. Alright, let's go. Netrun operations control. just like my grandparents. Arisaka Netrunners have stormed the tower's systems. Stopping their advance is my priority. Continue on your way alone. Oh, sorry. Clear the path, but you must hurry. An elite security unit is following you. Oh, boy. Need to run for it. Wound up turret fodder. Holy fucking Christmas. Who is- Oh, shit. Damn. Seems Cunningham's made strides these last decades. I'm pretty much just just shit, observing on this shit. Stood a chance. Come on, the way down's beyond the door. Okay, then fucking what are you doing? I'll lead the way, I guess. Let's move it. Okay, so close, I can almost smell the data stream. That's gross. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh, they're, they're, they're with me. They're just stuck in a dialogue that I fucking accidentally skipped over there. Can't turn back time, Johnny. Ever. But you can always start over. Shit! Holy fuck! Oh shit, it's Adam Smasher. No, 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 no! Oh no! Fucking hell, dude. Oh shit, he's fucking dead. Oh god, oh shit, oh fuck, oh god. No, 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 get away from me, you fucking bitch. Ah! Hold on, what's he? He's not weak to anything. Very cool. Cripple his moment! Ah! Oh! Oh no! I missed! Come on. Fuck you, bitch! Whoa! Run, 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 run! What the fuck? Holy shit! Inhale, inhale, inhale. Who the fuck are these guys? Fuck. 
fucking. Fuck you, asshole. Oh shit, run. Oh, bitch, okay. Oh my fucking seriously? Come on, come on. Fuck, fuck. Fuck! Fuck, 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 shit, fuck. Take care of that other fucking sniper. Wonder if I can get up there. Fuck. Get the. There we go. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, fuck. Heal oh! <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> oh no! Oh fuck, dude. That was intense as shit, man. Fuck me. That fucking close range rocket shit is what fucking kills me every time. Every time as in both times. So I gotta look out for that. Okay, so Real quick, I can do this. I can go to... Engineering. Blast shielding. Are you ah! Come on. <laughs> Fucking little bitch. Sensation. Six, five, four, three, two. Bitch. Listen to me, you bored son of a bitch. Rogue meant more than you or I ever could. Best there ever was. And you killed her. She knew the risks. Rogue had it in for you. Finally got what you wanted. You're talking tribe. I killed the old cunt. Don't know shit, Smasher. She finished things off on her own terms. Something you'll never get. Fucking bitch. A few for good measure. Didn't want that gun. Okay. Let's go. Pick up Rogue's gun. 
Okay. Where's Rogue's gun? What? Where's Rogue? It was right here, right? Wasn't at the other hall. It what? Wait. <laughs> oh, it's sitting here in the corner. Rogue. You were the best. Always. Fuck. We gotta go. Oh, shit. Wayland? Hey, Wayland. Yeah, man. You're all right. Good luck, Silverman. So he does know. The access point lies before you. Link to it. Insert yourself. Then search for me on the other side. Oh, fuck. Come on. We're right here. I'd be crawling so fucking hard. Come on. Bro, it's right there. Put that shit. Alt. Don't know if I'll have the wherewithal later to figure I'll just say this now. On V's behalf, thanks. As for me, I'm sorry. Holy shit. Huh? Oh shit, we're in a we're in Johnny's memory. Hey, it's that cat. And it's another that cat. V's necklace? Fuck. What is once out of nature I shall never take my bodily form from any natural thing. But such a form as Grecian goldsmiths make of hammered gold and gold enameling to keep a drowsy emperor awake. Or set upon a golden bough to sing to lords and ladies of Byzantium of what is past or passing or to come. What? The 
fuck is going on? Here are the stairs. Bridges lead to endings. Is this it? That's me. Hey, V. Happy to see me? Not exactly. Blacked out, then woke up here. I miss anything? Huh. The fuck? Shame you couldn't watch. It was my magnum opus. You loved it. Mean yours and Rogue's, don't you? Rogue's dead. I'm sorry. Afraid things are pretty fucked for me, too. Alt's hitting me with Soul Killer. My nerves are in shreds. Damn, this is so weird to be talking to myself. Alt? Gonna show yourself? Say hi, maybe? I'm an engram now. A construct. Fuck. What? Yeah, well, welcome to the club. Hey, Alt. You here? Told me she's finishing the checksum. Then she'll... Copy me back over into my flesh. Soul killer. We can't feel it doing its thing. How come? Should be pissing our panties in pain right now. Digital analgesia. Or data streams. Certain sensations, inputs can be blocked. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada. Alt, make you suffer through an exhaustive lecture? Imparted it instantly. Whatever. She did say she'd destroy Mikoshi, just as you agreed. Gonna release all those poor bastards, only suck them into her own bosom. Make them part of herself. So we at the finish line? It's all in Alt's hands now. No. What? What the? Alt? I made a mistake in excluding the body as a factor. What? DNA reconfiguration has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons. Spit it out! In human terms! V will die independent of what I do. This is inevitable. This is imminent. What? For fuck's sake, Alt. You had one job and you fucked it up? I could not know the situation before conducting a thorough and precise diagnosis. You promised this poor little shit a new life, and you lied. You fucking lied! Johnny, shut it for two seconds, will you? Gotta think. Gonna be all right, V. Think I said, something. give me one fucking minute. Oh, come on. There's gotta be a way out of this. The biochip has irreversibly changed the host organism. It no longer belongs to V, who is an intruder there. The situation is different for you. All changes were made to accommodate you. Hang on. Telling your ex to kick me out of my own body? The changes are irreversible. You have nothing left to lose. He has everything to gain. I will not interfere in your personal affairs. But while Johnny has full control, he can do what he wishes. Uh, fuck. Alt, give us a What the hell for? So he can trick me into a green? Giving you a free pass, even though he can already do what you want with my body? You're my friend, V. I'd never pull that on you. Never do you wrong. Enough. You can honestly talk in circles till the goddamn sun implodes. But I told you once already and haven't changed my mind. Still got a life to live. So you should go. If you're not ready to die, then you're gonna 
live. Johnny. So what do I do, Walt? Simply cross the bridge. You will become a part of me, as V's body and former life are restored. What? Cross the bridge and enter cyberspace forever or enter the well to return to V's body. Fuck, man. Gotta do it. I'm sorry, Keanu. Johnny. Don't make this any harder, eh? Just... Don't forget I came around. I won't. Ever. God damn. What? Couldn't wait for me? I didn't want to wake you. Is this a dream? What the fuck is going on? Get dressed optional. Yeah, let's cover up our cock, huh? Again, for the, like the 8,000th time. We have no pants. But we have boots, we have no pants. Fuck it. 
just put them all on. Is everything all right? You okay? No, I'm not okay. Nothing's okay. What? Fuck. Pan Am. I need air. What is happening? I know one thing. This fucking city. I will not miss it. I really can't understand it. After all that happened in Makoshi, you feel no need to leave this shithole? Just leave. Run and never look back. Run away with me. We talked about this. You know I got unfinished biz here. One more job to take care of. So what? You also have everyone at the afterlife eating out of your hand. You don't need any more jobs. You have it all. Shit. Just open your eyes. I have it all? You sure? Because all includes you, Pan Am. Stay here with me. I can't. They are my clan. My family. My responsibility. And yet you asked me to choose. Why, V? For what? What would it change if I did leave with you? I only got a few months left anyway. It would be a few months among people you care about. People who care about you. God, that's a hard unless, conversation. What the unless fuck? Unless that's your point. You think the end could be easier? If you were alone? You know that's not true. I know this, V. Tomorrow I will be gone. We're breaking camp. We'll leave at dawn. I'm dying, Pan Am. Fuck, you think I don't know that? We've talked about- Wait. Let me finish. This last job, it's important. Probably the most important job of my life. And if I can get it done... You will have finally proven to yourself that you're the best. Something everyone else knows. And you will see how you're addicted to the thought. No. I'll prove to myself that all this city gave me, or took from me, that it was for a reason. I understand. I think. Can you let me do this? Fuck. They had a saying in my clan. No goodbyes. Only roads that four can converge. Nomads say all sorts of shit. Speaking of which, you still owe me that story of that guy from Caucasus. One who rode in your trunk. I'll tell you. Someday. Somewhere. If our roads meet again. Till next time. I will remember V. Always. What in the absolute fucking shit head is going on? Service. Tell me. Shall we fly today? Thought you got decommissioned. The afterlife. Head over there. Or As left or whatever. We will be traveling along restricted air corridors. No delays anticipated. Preem. If I may date, you look frightfully fatigued. 
Was it a difficult night? Difficult few weeks. What I'm the truly fuck? sorry to hear that. The Delamay network is pleased to offer complimentary services that may just be the ideal remedy for your current condition. What's more, I'm delighted to inform you that Delamain has joined forces with Trauma Team. With our limited time only safe travels package, you have a full range of medical services available to you at your fingertips. As to any medical aid, a day late and an eddy short for that. I'm afraid I don't understand. You've practically unlimited resources at your disposal. I'm certain we can find an appropriate solution. Don't worry about it, though. As you wish. So, did we kill Johnny for no reason? Just extend our time? What the fuck happened? What's going on with Arasaka? And how's the sitch in the city? Here's an item that might interest you. The Arasaka crisis continues. The corporation still teeters. Aggregated media mentions indicate a positively mammoth stain on the corporation's image, as well as financial and political defeat. Secure Your Soul was to be a smashing success for Arasaka. It turned into a horrific curse. They lost all resources related to the program. Mm hmm Promised the rich immortality. Sold them on it. Actually collected engrams and knowledge. A bit for control. For power, I say. Precisely. In any event, it will be some time before Arasaka successfully reorganizes. It seems you, the afterlife, are safe. For now. Get me to the afterlife, and floor it. Naturally. I've chosen the optimal route. We'll be arriving shortly. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the stunning views of our fine city. Mm hmm thanks. Judging by my client's reviews, the city is truly breathtaking. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a knockout. They sure is. Fucking you Okay, you don't well. say. I hope you guys caught that. You're breathtaking, Dell. You're breathtaking. Hey, you there. Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you getting what you want out of life? Emmerich Bronson. Client of yours gave word he's on his way. What do I do with him? Tell him to hang tight. I guess. But what if you could leave all that behind? Far, far behind when you begin your journey to the final frontier. Send the word SPACE to 7299 for a chance to win a one-week getaway for two at the Crystal Palace. Ten casinos, five poles, top-end brain dance equipment, and the best chefs in the universe. If you're looking for a taste of paradise, don't wait a microsecond longer. Send SPACE to 7299 right now. Hey, we good? Perfect. Box is ready to wait. Uh, hey, Claire. Get you something? My usual. Sure thing. People can tell something's up. Won't be able to keep it under wraps much longer. Won't have to. Take offs today. Today? Is that a problem? No, no. Just. In that case, you're gonna need something special. Rogue had this little ritual. Before any big op, she'd knock back a shot of tequila. Silverhand's preferred. Asked her once if it was for luck or whatever. You know what she said? Said it was about remembering. Said that remembering Johnny that way helped her focus on what was important. Anyways, afterlife tradition. I'm gonna mix you up one of our specials. Just tell me who we're drinking to. Mix me up a silver hand. Drink it to Johnny. I mean, I only know what people say about him, but Betty would love what you're planning. Shit, you know, damn moon. I know. Good luck, V. Is 
say something about the moon? Hey, boss. Put you back together beautifully. Brand shiny new Waylon. <laughs> yeah, somehow. Anyway, I had enough of sitting on my ass in the clinic. Feel much better here. Where you can tell everyone about your Sokka Tower heroics. <laughs> you know it. But what you plan to do today, V? I mean, respect. Nothing else will ever come close. Take good care of yourself. And good luck. Thanks. And what the fuck is going on here, man? V. I've long awaited this moment. Mr. Blue Eyes. To look the latest afterlife legend in the eye. I must say, I'm moved. Happy not to disappoint. Sid, Sid. Talk to me. Well, V. Mikoshi was quite the punch. You TKO'd Arasaka, in fact. Brought you eddies. Influence around town. But not just that. It meant positive paralysis of Arasaka systems. A few additional hatches opened up. My people rushed in, grabbed what they could. So it's all systems go for the op. I have confirmed the intel leaking out of Arasaka. The casino is currently testing a new security system. And it's true. They will be shutting it down briefly today. I believe you'll know how to use that moment. Having second thoughts? Hope that doesn't mean you want to drop out. Drop out? At this stage? No. It would make no sense. I'd take a hit. Speaking of which... Nobody's ever pulled off a stunt like this. What the fuck are we doing? Right from, they'd say it's straight impossible. They'd say you're taking too big a risk. Poetically speaking, flying towards the sun to burn up. They'd be dead wrong. All of them. Self-confidence worthy of a legend. Or of someone risking it all. <laughs> Damn, check out but those I boots! you know what it's like to lose everything. To fight for one last breath. I see it in you. This time tomorrow, should have the casino's client data. All of it. Don't forget your side of the bargain. Oh, I never forget a promise. Good luck. Crystal Palace. What the fuck is going on? Right. In position. Perfect. Almost to the second. My turn. Mm. Satellites are down for now. Just got the signal. Signature cloaking activated. Remember, got one shot and one shot only. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. As soon as it starts, there'll be no backing down. No chance at extraction. No chance of survival if anyone notices. Excellent. But if this works, you'll gain more than you ever imagined. Times when I had something to gain are long gone. Now, now I got nothing to lose. That's kind of grim. Then again, who am I to judge? I'm so fucking okay. confused. Here goes nothing. Good luck. See you down bottom. Over and out. Hey, it's me.
Oh, this better make sense, dude. My limbs feel fucking frozen right now. What the fuck, hey, dude? What's up, kid? Been a while since you came to see you, old Vic. I'll bet your tunes at the afterlife found you a new major league ripper, huh? Them swanky downtown fucker shooting chrome out his ass. Am I right? Well, I mean it, kid. Get all you can out of this life. You deserve it. More than anyone I know. But stop by sometime, okay? Next time you're in the neighborhood, we'll talk about old times and I'll take a look at you. Make sure that the new ripper of yours didn't screw anything up. See you around, V. Everyone's telling me you're a, a base gordo now. A big shot, eh? <laughs> so big you can't call me once a week. Once a month, even. Don't forget where you started. Who you started with, hmm? My door's always open to you, V. There's always food on my table. Mi casa es su casa. No se te olvide. Ahí te veo, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V! How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's a sandstorm heading straight for us. So, yeah. You're missing out. No, oh, but seriously, we're we're all getting by. Family never stops growing. Work's always piling up. Sometimes all I wish for is a good night's rest. But oh well. Can't have everything, right, V? You know what I mean. Let me know when you get bored of the city. I'll take you for a nice long ride. All right now. Take care, V. Hello, B. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo. Remember that. Take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. V, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought... Maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. And still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. And I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around.
Hey, V. Jefferson Perales here. You know, mayor of Night City. I'm calling about our recent program to tackle homelessness. What would you say about being the head of my security detail, huh? As you know, the number of people I can trust are few and far between. Next week, we're going to be raising the city's taxes. So, things might get a little hairy. Come by. We'll hammer out a good deal for you. I'm no any pincher when it comes to safety. All right. Well, we'll be in touch, V. Hey, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. Know what I drew? Strength, the Emperor, and the world. Babe, the world's gonna hear about you. Go and show Night City what you're made of. God damn. <sighs> I feel... I feel... Transcendent. I feel like I'm floating, like, in outer space. No, like, I obviously that's what the character model was doing just before this came up, but... That's kind of what it feels like, is just... I don't know, like a dream. So is the moral of the story that... I just don't understand. I don't think that in particular... I think the Alt Cunningham thing would lead to a, a second game more than anything, but that whole thing with the casino in the sky, is that just supposed to mean that V just was never going to stop? Like now that he wasn't, like he was faced with his own mortality and the fact that he could live. And then when he found out that he was going to die anyway, even without Johnny taking him over, that he would... He would just keep fucking... Keep doing shit. Big jobs. Trying to be a legend. I mean, that's what the beginning of the game was about, was becoming a legend in Night City. But, I mean, he pretty much was. He was rogue status. Johnny Silverhand status. Still processing everything. Um, by the way, I want to mention that whole thing about River giving people weapons. Uh, probably not a good idea. I don't know if I liked how unsentimental the relationship with Pan Am was. I feel like I don't know if that was if that's necessarily her character to. Cause you saw the way that she felt like, like with Scorpion and shit and she packed up with her quote unquote family and then left and then the video that she left you didn't seem like she was all that sad that you weren't there. So does V die or does he live? Like, I mean obviously that's the question they want you to ask yourself. He's went going on like the biggest quote unquote job whatever the fuck that means. You're gonna blow up the fucking skies casino is he just gonna rob it like that was a cool fucking scene though that very end that was really fucking cool it was i mean obviously the character model doesn't look exactly like me but i mean i did a rough rough estimate of trying to make it look like me and it's just i don't know it felt fucking i mean strange there's a better word out there that i can't think of but yeah, at the very least, I mean, it was just kind of a surreal, surreal little scene that they had. 
Johnny fucking dying, dude. Johnny... <laughs> I mean, if you were watching the first few episodes... Yeah, the relationship with Johnny did not start out well, and I thought he was going to be an antagonist throughout most of the game. And I wasn't sure whether or not that was going to happen that way, but... Um, I'm really... I think that's really cool how... It's a cl <laughs> I don't know how many times I said this in my YouTube career about the whole classic storytelling. Two people hate each other, they spend enough time with each other, they end up liking each other, and in the end, they're inseparable. Unless, you know, one of them dies, and then that's tragic. And, uh, Johnny... I mean, through my decisions, Johnny gave up his life to save V, which I thought was fitting. Johnny had already died once. Doesn't make much sense for him to take over V's body. That would make him much more of an antagonist figure. And I liked the the de the relationship that they were developing as Johnny was getting softer, being in V's mind and trying to save V and promising him and all that shit. Gave him the fucking the dog tags. I think at the very most that was probably the good ending. Other than uh, I mean the whole quote unquote taking things into your own hands. I still don't think that was a good ending. You know like. A suicide, just not dealing with it. I'm really curious to see what the other fucking... The other branches of choices would have done. Going with Pan Am or, uh... Or going with... With Hanako. Hanako, mostly, because... I can see definitely that Pan Am would probably die, and that would be really sad. That would be kind of, you know, that would suck, and then you get to Mikoshi, and you'd have to kill Johnny as well. Rogue died, but she wasn't our connection. She was still Johnny's connection, you know? And and while you still experienced that, it wasn't... I mean, yes, it was sad. Rogue was a fucking cool character, for sure. But I'm V, you know? Cool, you know, in a, in a sense. I'm V. I played with Johnny in my head. So, having... Rogue die, it wasn't like having Pan Am die. I probably wouldn't have gone through seeing Adam Smasher if we didn't take Rogue with us, with Johnny. Wonder about Hanako, though. I, that's probably the one I can't predict the most. I would just probably think that, you know, um, uh, she, Hanako would try and fuck us over in the very end. I knew Johnny was going to have to give up his life, though. I knew that was going to have to be the end. Either one. I didn't know you'd have the ability to choose, but, um... I mean, while as predictable as it was, it was still very good. And it's like... I, I really liked that storytelling aspect of it. This game was so fucking... For as buggy as shit as it was... Thank God I wasn't playing it on fucking console, because... I would have been pissed. I would have been fucking upset. But here on PC, it's been bearable. More than bearable. It's been downright fun. It's been straight up absolutely fun. And, uh... Throughout my experience, I think... I mean, there was... There's always the, like, small little side shit. And, um... Reasons being, I don't know when this episode's gonna come out. But if I've already announced that, uh... I'm probably not gonna do too many more of these. I just don't have time to go through and do all that stuff and be able to upload all the videos um i uh i had a lot of fun and um i think that if it was if it had been ready like without any bugs probably would have been an eight or i uh no i i think it's an eight if it had launched without any bugs probably would have been a nine and if they... Now, the game's not exactly... Didn't exactly deliver on their promise. A lot of functionalities and shit like that just weren't quite there. The fullness of it, you can tell, is like... It's it's chock full of shit, but it's not as full as, you know, I think they originally wanted it to be. It's a pretty great story. Um... A lot of the NPCs, though, were very uncharacteristic. A lot of recycled dialogue, shit like that. If it was bigger, like... Not even just Red Dead size, but I don't know. Like, just some personality to the people that you run into. 
Um, I just, I, I feel like it, it was, there's just a few key points that it, it wasn't able to hit to m not make it a masterpiece, you know? Um, physics probably could have done a little better, obviously. I mean, uh, glitches aside, the physics probably could have done just a little bit better. Um, definitely, like, the combat mechanics were unpolished. Some of the cutscenes were straight up not finished. Uh, a lot of sound design. Things weren't, like, sounds weren't going off when you weren't looking at them a lot of times. Um, that's a whole development thing, and that's, that's the management. Fucking corporate motherfuckers, you know? Shout out to Aidor Gonzalez, who fucking voiced V through that the entire game. Or for, I think that's Spanish. <laughs> and Chinese, um. Anyways, uh, Keanu Reeves, I think, did a, a I mean, a, they probably, he probably did as well as he absolutely could in the position that they put him in with this game, you know? Um, and I've never thought he was like the most uh, emotionally intense actor, but as far as this game goes, I think uh, for his role, he does a really, really good job. Johnny Silverhand, that's exactly who Johnny Silverhand was, and he embodied that jo Johnny Silverhand. It didn't really feel like like you saw Keanu Reeves and it was Johnny Silverhand. It wasn't Keanu Reeves. It was that it was the character, which is really cool. Um Yeah, so that was a a great job. I um Fuck, man. Uh those side missions, I want to mention that the side missions were a lot like, kind of like their own DLC, which is great because a lot of, sometimes side missions in other games don't, they just feel like, uh, runs to the grocery store, if that makes any sense. Um, just not, not, you know, quick A to B type things, but there are some solid side missions in this one. The Judy, Pan Am... Uh, I think it was the Jeffersons or whatever, the, the rich senators. Fucking... They're all pretty good. And... Fuck, man. This music is just putting me in that fucking mood. It's like the ending of Mass Effect 3. Not as, obviously, not as dwelling on how fucking fucked up it left me, but just in a translucent type state where it just just a reflection it feels good it's just it's also very like emptying that closure is there I mean other than you know the that the Obviously, that part about V in the, v the end, I can barely fucking talk, I'm having a goddamn aneurysm, um... Left a lot of questions to be asked, and I, that's exactly what they want you to do, but... Reflecting on everything else, fuck, dude, it's just, there's a t that emotion, I don't know what the fuck it's called... But it's there, and it's in full fucking force right now, and... Just soaking it up. The gameplay was fun while it lasted. Um, there were really only like a couple different types of guns. Like the skins and then they leveled up. Um, which I mean isn't totally bad. There was a lot of different blunt like combat weapons that I felt like weren't worth it. Tell that fucking spade which was like kick ass. Defeated Adam Smasher with it. Um. <sighs> Fuck. I and I liked it. I really liked it. As horrible of a launch as Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven was. 
I really like this game. I don't know if I... It, it, would, it seems more like an experience. Because I don't know that I have it in me to go back and replay it unless I was, you know, I had shitloads of free time on my hands and not a lot of us do. Sometimes. I mean, maybe this year more than ever. So I'm glad I got the chance to play it. Um, I feel bad having complained before about its release dates being postponed four times when... When it really could have used more time. Um, if CD Projekt Red doesn't get fucking shut down, I'm excited to see what they might bring to the table. Uh... Lots of cool characters, fucking... Choose to Jackie, Johnny, Rogue, Takemura. <sighs> Fuck, man. I think we probably got close to the best ending. Damn, it's so crazy. Well, I'm, uh, I'm gonna sit here and watch these credits. And just really let that fucking emotion of whatever it's called just really sink in and... and kill me, so, uh... Um, I guess I've said all I need to say. I'm gonna let the credits play out. If anything plays at the end, you know how it usually goes. Uh, I'll let it play, but if not... You made it this far. So you might as well hit the fucking subscribe button already. Make sure to leave a like on your way out the door. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Or, maybe this is the last one. Thanks anyway.
congrats, you've completed the main storyline of Cyberpunk 2077, but remember that Night City never sleeps. There's still much to see and do. You can continue from your last open world checkpoint, but you have a special reward waiting for you. Would you like to keep playing? Sure, just one more gig. So I was doing some re- if anybody's still there. I was doing some research about the different endings. And, um, it turns out that there's, oh, you'll find, note if any of the rewards you earned are cyberware, you'll have to visit, or Ripper Doc to use them, okay. Um, yeah, so there's a, there's a thing where you can go and... Uh, when you're on the rooftop and you got to make a decision on what you're going to do, you can sit there and just be quiet and eventually, I mean, thinking that Johnny and I probably have a strong relationship, right? Um, uh, what do these mean even? What is this? Edge runner. Um... Legend. This isn't just sharing a body anymore. Just left to join the hot day with Rogue. Setting Carrie sure means a lot to the guy. Sometimes these little gestures of friendship make you forget. But as long as it all works out, you'll be left standing at the end. I think that the only you only live once. I think that needs to be 70%. Fuck, so maybe it's not high enough. We weren't friendly enough with Johnny. Down to the wire, your inner clock is showing the final hours and I... If you want to live, you find a way into Arasaka, connect Mikoshi along with... And then that's the percentage that the biochip's taken over, maybe? But, uh, I think this is the relationship with, with Johnny. It needs to be 70%, which I, I guess I thought I had a better relationship than 60%, but, um... If you do that, then you sit there, Johnny will offer you another plan, which is basically going in without Rogue. And Rogue gets to live in that ending. Yeah, but everything else is the same. Uh, you become the new top dog of afterlife, I guess. And and you get to go to space and do one last gig. And Pan Am still shows up and yada, yada, yada. That's all, you know, assuming that uh, V takes the body and not Johnny. Which obviously would be the good thing. And I think that's probably the ultimately good ending. Given that you have to put some work in to try and build a relationship with Johnny throughout the game. Um, but yeah, didn't know about it. So uh, that's going to be the end of this. Thanks again for watching.